Hello everybody and welcome to another Project Portsal MC Map Gaming Building Vlog. Well, well, let's skip the intro here and I'll just get right into the uh, discussion portion of this video. All right, and we're back. Um, so, I've been at it again. I've made some changes to the map and... You know, for better or worse, I can always revert these ones because they're not very substantial. Um, I did implement some usage of custom heads. Some are collectible items, uh, such as golden skulls and a crystal skull, with there are two and two in the map. Uh, you can get them at different locations. But, uh, yeah. Uh... I also removed the old squid farm that, well, b wasn't functioning. And I, re I used the space to create a light storage area. Um, I may in the future replace the droppers that I used for the storage because they match the color with uh, barrels. Um, and possibly re replace the walls, ceiling, and floor with deep slate. Uh, replace everything with deep slate. But I'm not quite sure yet. I like the classic look that it has right now. Um, and I'm thinking of keeping it that way. Um, Right now, what I'm looking at here is, well, new quests. I've gone ahead and revamped some of the older quests. I've remade an entire secret, I've made, remade an entire challenge quest, which involves filling up. It can be a, a fill, the challenge, the first challenge is going to be filling up the uh, new storage area with items. It can be anything really, dirt, cobblestone, really whatever. There are no set parameters for the challenge, just that you fill up the uh, the space there. Um, I mean, if you want to use that as a vault, I mean, it's a very decent area. It's like nice and hidden away. Um, I made some slight upgrades to it, but other than that, it's remained pretty much the same since the last video. Um, I went ahead off camera and decided to make the changes to the um, to Baba Yaga's Nether Fortress. They were quite minimal. I was going to do more drastic changes, but I decided not to. Um, there is one change I might want to make to it, but uh, I'm not entirely sure. And, you know, I'm thinking about possibly, well, I want to come out with more shorts and do things like that soon. Um, I am going to be possibly starting a new hardcore series. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, there there is that. So, you know, let's go uh, jump into the... Portal MC, and actually, there is one change I want to make to the map. I know I just changed Bobby Dogs and other fortress a little bit, but there is something I want to change in regards to certain items that are acquirable that can only be acquired over there. So uh, let's go jump over to that. All right, and we're back. Let's head into the Nether and. Uh,
All right, let me show you what I did. Um, these are where the golden skulls are. Uh, Ew. I'm actually going to be hiding these golden skulls around here, so, uh, yeah, one moment, please. All right, there we go. Uh, that's all done. Now let me show you around Babiaga's nether fortress, and yes, I reskinned a nether fortress, although I, I did upgrade it a little, architecturally wise. I mean, there isn't really much you can do with these uh, nether fortresses. And I say that, but I may end up renovating one of these. Or rather, I already have. All right, with that out of the way, and we're only seven minutes in, uh, yeah, let let me go ch let me go show you the areas that we're gonna now gonna work on. Um, well, when I said that there was like there's two golden golden skulls there, but there I think there's a few down here. Uh, after that, I'm just gonna use the slash kill command to uh, oof myself because it's just cheaper and faster, and honestly, it's less walking, less blocks walked. I went over this in a, I don't, did I go over this in a previous video? Yes, I did. Um, Yes, these are in fact heads, but they've text them using different skin textures, so uh yeah. I really only really want the golden skulls to be in the uh Babiaga's nether fortress, so we can go ahead and remove that. I am, however, going to grab the... Oh, where is the Eye of Ender? Every block place, most of the blo these special block placements have a reason. The structures have a reason for why they're there. Um, 
for instance, this fills the role of a, of a netherite mine where you can go collect netherite from in decent quantities, collect ancient debris rather in decent quality, uh, in decent quantities, and uh, yeah, return back with it. As a map maker, this is just like. This is probably one of my more anxiety inducing builds because you don't really know what the is going on here quite or what rather happened here. There's big slimes, there's stuff here. Giant pools of lava. Everything looks like it's falling apart. But yeah, everything has a reason here. Even these uh even those mysterious chests back there. I can't quite read what the signs say. Ah, yes. Take one and cast the other into lava. I will not spoil what those the, the, what are in those chests. What are in those two chests. All I can say is it's up to the player to decide which one they want. The left or the right. It can't be both. You have to cast one into the pool. I don't even remember exactly what are what are in those uh what are in those chests actually. Um What I can tell you is there's some pretty good loot. But it's split between the chests, so uh yeah. There's loot in here, ancient debris, iron blocks. I'm going to put some gold in there. Um, You know what? I may actually put in some more nether gold because there just seems to be a little bit less in nether quartz. You know what I hate? How the uh, new nether textures Another YouTuber has pointed out the fact that the older textures may be better um, in terms of the nether. The nether is supposed to be this dark, foreboding place. And now, you know, I can kind of relax around these textures, which I have anxiety problems. So if I can relax around these to Minecraft textures, um, then, you know, there's an issue. So yeah, I'd say that they're an issue with the new nether textures. Are they smoother? Yeah. Do they capture the details that quite right for the nether? Not really. I think they need a team also to, uh, well, bring back programmer art. I'm not going to make that a hashtag, no, but, uh,
Anyways, you may be wondering, what is all, what, why, why did you make this place so winding and labyrinth-like? Is it bigger than, no, this, this actually is kind of small. That's the thing. This looks bigger than it actually is. This, this little area is actually quite small. Um, at some point, I am going to fill those, be filling those chests up with stuff, but for right now, it's empty. Um, that's probably something that I'll get around to later. I don't. I don't expect I'll be getting around to that. I have more uh, pressing issues to to address, uh, other than updating chest loot and whatnot. So that's not a, that that well. That is a quality of life. Um, a quality of life. Okay, um, let's see. Uh, there's, like, there's honestly so much to do here. I wish they had basalt stairs, but they don't, so I'm going to use blackstone. Plus, it, I'm going to mirror, I'm actually going to replace this with blackstone. You may be wondering, how do you place stuff behind you when looking forwards? Put simply, if you're like looking like this, uh, for instance, it works better with transparent non-collidable blocks. So uh, this torch, if I'm right here and I click there, you can place a block behind your head. It's a neat little bug, a fun little bug. I don't expect it they're going to patch that because it's just, you know. The nether is supposed to be this really chaotic place where nothing really is supposed to make sense. And you know what? I think this, this build completely reflects that. It's all over the place, but it sure looks nice in a warped, twisted sort of sense. Anyways, it appears we are all out of time for today. If you uh, enjoyed watching this video so far, please hit that like button. If you if you want to consider supporting my channel, then you can do so by subscribing um, and maybe becoming a returning viewer. Feel free to comment in the comment section what you think of my builds. Um, and uh, if you really wanna if you really wanna engage with the community. I s 
well, I, I have a Discord now. It's small right now, but I want to grow the population of people in my Discord. So, uh, yeah. It's currently just like four members, so any additional members are greatly appreciated. There is a simple verification system. And there are perks you can unlock over time through interacting with the community, such as embed perms. Um, so you can, yes, indeed, post links and images and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, there, there's not a lot going on. But uh, yeah, it's there. We may have events and stuff like partnerships and whatnot when we get around to it. Uh, and I was asked a question, like, earlier, I know this is the end of the video, but before you go, I was asked a question, am I going to make this into a server? Um, is this a server? And the answer is, no, it's not a server. It's a single player map. However, I have tossed around the idea of, uh... of making this into a server because you know it sounds like a fun idea but the with the way the quests work i don't think loot would be distributed evenly um so this is best enjoyed as a single player experience although in terms of multiplayer compatibility that is one of those things where i am wanting to work on um Anyways, let's head back out. Let's head back out of the Nether, go back into the Overworld, and then we'll actually head back to the studio where we'll actually be concluding this episode. Um, we started in the studio. We'll end in the studio, and that is what's going to be. That is what's going to be going on. All right, here is the point in the video, part of the video where I have to say goodbye. Um, I will see you in the next video, I guess. Hopefully, maybe. Anyways, thanks you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Tenny stop sponsors uh, wanting to reach out. Um, you're free to do so. I don't. I don't know. At this point, I might not even do sponsorships or anything. Uh, I might just do videos. Anyways, without further ado, thank you for watching.